Cooper. I'm tired of these guys saying the same guys are playing the same. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. I'm shooting for the stars. I label with them bars. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to roll. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Seth Lugo. What do you got on him, Chris? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Three and two now. Flails at that one. It's a strikeout. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive, and that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. And he deals. Pitch misses, and it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that's ball four. ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. And Will. up to the plate is Will Smith. Runner, runner. runner on the goal. Out towards left center. Dives. Can't get it. Base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Here comes Max Muncy. The 1 1. There's a strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boy. Freeman, the lead runner out at second. Smith over at first, so going away. Next pitch misses, and the count's even at two. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. 3 2 now. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. And he grounds one to the right side. Down the line, and it's foul. Runners at first and second with one gone. And that'll load the bases. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. David Peralta at the plate. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. And here it comes. And he dodges that fastball. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. And a curve is down and in. Way to lay off that pitch down. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Well done. Drives in the run. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Jason Hayward. 1-1 one, one now. That one missed. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Base is loaded. One away. Still two and two after the foul ball.
Right-hander kicks, deals. And another ball. Well, Boog, early on in this one, having a hard time getting settled in. He's not showing control to throw strikes, and let alone the throw where he wants in the strike zone. This could be a tough one for him. On the ground to short. Tosses across to first, but the runner scores from third. Thought they had a shot at him at the plate. Here's Kike Hernandez. The 2 1. Upstairs. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. The 3 1. On the ground. And foul ball. The pitch. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Camposano throws the first in time. And that is that. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Dodgers two, and the Padres nothing. Back here in San Diego, and on the hill today, Tony Gonsolin. Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later maybe second third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen it's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes swings and misses couldn't catch up to the heater Fernando Tatis the next up for the Padres Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. That one close, ruled a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Line to left, and that's a fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, heading for two. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Here's Manny Machado. Well, here's a chance right here for one of the better hitters on this roster to get him on the board in the first. Thanks to the three-hole hitter extending the inning. Good at bat with two outs. Here's a one-two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Soto at second with two down. The pitch. Up the middle, a dive, nice stop. The throw, and very nicely done for the out. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. And welcome back. Second inning set to go. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, James Outman. Outman. Fly ball to right. Tatis under this one. He's there. He's got it. Then there's one down. Batting nine. The shortstop. Miguel Rojas Miguel. at the play. Good contact Rojas. guy. Good defender. Back to the mound. 
to first up. two up two down at the top of the second. Here's Mookie now went down on strikes his first time through. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball he's got a great eye as well. And now oh, two and God. one. Singy, he wasn't real sharp in the first, got hit around, but really more so, didn't throw a ton of strikes. Well, he's just got to find a way to settle down. He was clearly fighting himself out there, not really finding the strike zone, walking batters. So we'll see if he can get back on track and fill up the zone a little bit more. Freddie Freeman waiting to bat for the Dodgers. And a pitch. And that's a strike. Thank you. Next pitch has popped up. Choi brings it in, and that's the third out. Dodgers go down quietly, but they're on top 2 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the second. Now here's Bartley. Xander Bogarts now. Not shortstop. Xander Bogarts. And there's the ball. That one misses. Three balls and a strike. Eric Summers Gill with home plate duty in this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. One down, base is empty. Outside. That one fouled off two and two. The pitch. That one hit to right. Dunks one into left. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Batting seven. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. At the belt and fires. Battling here as he fouls it away. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. 2 2 now. That one drifts inside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. In the air, right field. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Padres leave one, and they're down 2 0. On to the third inning. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. The first baseman, number five. Freddie. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. You know, these Dodgers do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. 2 2 now. Got him swinging for the strikeout. 
couldn't catch up to the heater. The batter now will be Will Smith. Singled and scored his first time. Out towards right center field, Tatis on the move to the alley. Pulls it in on the run. Two away down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And one and two. One ball, two straight. Bouncer to Choi. He takes it on his oh. own, and that will end the inning. Dodgers down in order as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Welcome back. Ready to go Ready for to the go. last half of the Andre. inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Trent Grisham. The 1 1 is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. To third. Whips it to first on the run. That takes care of Grisham. So the batting order turns over. Now the third baseman, Ha Sung Kim. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Hit weakly on the ground. Two up, two down. Now bad. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Fernando Tatis. He's 0 for 1. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. It's off his chest. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. Tag and he's safe. It's a hustle double. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. Here's Juan Soto. That one missed. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. And that is that. One left for San Diego. They trail it here, two nothing. Back here at Petco Park, as we go to the top of the fourth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, David Peralta. And a swing and a miss. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Tim Hill, the left-hander, up and throwing. The 2-2 two -two now. That's a little bit low. Slow roller to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. One up, one down. Good two-seam action right there. Running away up from the batter. Up. Rolled over it. Got the, the ground out. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Grounded out his first time. Next pitch well, off the one. play, and it's two and one. Up the middle, lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it, he's safe. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. Aye. Gets the call. It's a ball and two strikes. Aye. 
And now two and two. Hayward leads off first with one away. Check swing, and that's a ball. Three two now. Good plate oh. appearance there. Able to take the walk. Almost a coin You're flip a for the umpire three. in that call, but yeah. most umpires just don't want to give pitchers a break up in the zone like that. Left hander out of the bullpen, Tim Hill. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. One out. Runners at first and second. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two away. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance. Get it. And now this is down for a base hit. Now a long throw home. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's three zip. Picks himself up in RBI. I can watch base hits like that one. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Robert Suarez. And this guy. I can bring it velocity wise. Here's the left fielder, David Peralta. There's a strike. You know, these Dodgers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've already earned five walks in the game, and of course, that's providing them with a lot of run scoring opportunities. Ground ball to the right side, and it goes just foul. Kicks and fires. Up the middle. Throw over to Choi. One up, one down. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then now even more impressive Wake was the throw. Way. Off balance. Had to try to in the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Action in the pen down there. Steven Wilson getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. The one-two. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Kim makes the catch. Two down. The third baseman, number eight. Two outs, base is empty. And next for L.A., Enrique Hernandez. Now this is in the air down the line. Soto brings it in with a nice running grab. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. The Padres in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Next pitch is downstairs. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Yancy Almonte looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next offering is fouled back. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. And here comes the Dodgers manager to the mound. Pitching change. A new pitcher in the game, Rustar Grotterol. 
Now, Power slider guy, boo. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. Kicks and deals. And a count one and two. for the Padres, Luis Campusano. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Here's a 1-2. Got him. And there's two away. So it's their last chance in this one. Now here is Trent Grisham. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. So now one and two. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. That hits the dirt, and it's two and two. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. The tying run at the plate. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, not all saves come easy, but he didn't let things unravel. Good win for the boys today. And your final 3-1. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. We'll see you soon. our final line score this afternoon for the victorious Dodgers three runs six hits no errors they left 13 men on base for the Padres one run eight hits no errors they left 11 men on base time of the ball game two hours and 34 minutes thank you for joining us here this afternoon and we remind you to please Drive home safely.